one of our famous schools, Rick Hansen School in Mississauga, and I don't know if you're a star had the opportunity to go, but they are famous for robotics, and uh, I had the privilege of attending the uh, major event at the Hershey Center. The Hershey Center was filled with students from across Canada at a robotics uh, tournament, whatever you want to call it. Now, I'll tell you, it is impressive to go to one of those events and see what the young people are doing. And Rick Hansen is a leader, so welcome. I invited you to come, because I felt not only the council, but since council meetings are televised, give the people of Mississauga an opportunity to hear about the wonderful, wonderful work that is being done at Rick Hansen. Uh, regarding robotics. Now, I hope you're going to reveal to us today all the accomplishments that this uh, student, Zephyr Hansen, has accomplished in robotics. Welcome. Good morning, Madam Mayor and Mississauga City Council. Thank you again for inviting us here and giving us an opportunity to present our robotics program. We are Theory 6, Team 1241, part of Hansen Robotics. We are a group of passionate individuals and we want to bring science and technology to a level where it's recognized and celebrated in the community. I am Samrat Sodi. I'm a mentor for Rick Hansen Secondary School's robotics team. I'm Shagan Gupta. I am in grade 12 and a member of the robotics team. We would now like to show you a video that showcases a little bit about our, uh, about our program and is made by our students. program 
project that we have here teaches students how to investigate and solve complex problems in the world of math, science, and engineering as we connect lessons taught in the classroom to our real-world applications. Sometimes it may seem as though we're just playing as we learn, but as we learn these skills kind of develop and build the next technological masterpiece that will be moving our community forward. What we're really doing is becoming the leaders of tomorrow, how we're moving Mississauga and all Canada forward as we do this. Uh, students in the Rick Hess Robotics program actually design and build the robot in six weeks, and then we compete in regional competitions uh, around the world. Um, we go from Mississauga to Cleveland to Washington and even Israel. Um, Mississauga actually hosts uh, the largest first robotics competition in the world. Um, we have over 70 teams that come to Mississauga, and we were a part of this regional as well. Um, we have traveled to St. Louis where we actually had to compete in GTR where we got the Engineering Inspiration Award and won our way to the World Championships where we were undefeated um, with, within 400 teams from across the globe. Uh, we represented Mississauga on an international level and we hope to continue to do this for Mississauga. Our program is not only designed to be simply an after-school activity, we are active in the community, we, hold cha we help cha charities, we send out newsletters, we showcase our program at the Ontario Science Centre, we're out there mentoring other teams, we want to get this program out into Mississauga to a point where everyone knows about robotics, everyone's interested in science and technology. Uh, we want to impact everyone. We've brought opportunities and a sense of understanding in the areas of science, technology, engineering, and math to every, every region and every uh, community, every school. Um, our season actually runs year-long. We have middle schools in our area being uh, involved in junior robotics. So, and we have summer workshops and elementary schools actually attending our workshops as well. Um, we start off with elementary schools doing Lego robotics. Then we move into middle schools doing kit robotics. And then afterwards, we make the final transition into high school, where they make um, a robot that's actually worth about ten thousand um, dollars. You know, it's a very the technology that's involved in our robot is you know the 21st century next level innovative things that kids in high school are learning that in post secondary education you learn in your third and fourth year, and they're learning it um, you know at an accelerated pace, and that's what's really important for us. Um, I kind of want to hit on some points in terms of why uh, robotics is so important in Mississauga. Um, we understand that Mississauga has 11 wards, but only five are represented with robotics programs. Now we want to make sure that every single ward is represented by a robotics program, and not even the high school robotics program. We want to get all of the stepping stones where we get from Lego to kit to high school robotics and then make it a Mississauga affair. We want to take Mississauga to the next level where we are known as the tech technologically friendly and innovative city. Um, we have a lot of ideas where we want to bring um, robotics programs into the local libraries, community centers, every school, every region, and we want to help facilitate that growth and making sure that Mississauga is rep represented on a worldwide scale. Um, I'll give you a little bit of why we think that Mississauga should be brought to this next level, and it's, I told you about the largest robotics regional, which is held in the Hershey Center, has 70 teams. Um, Mississauga is represented by five teams, while Toronto is represented by 33 teams. We want to make sure that Mississauga is the majority in this regional competition. And when we went to the uh, World Championships in St. Louis, we were the only team representing Mississauga. And we feel that we shouldn't be. We should be. There should be a group of us representing Mississauga in every single division. Within the 400 teams, we want to make sure that 200 are from Mississauga. We want to take it to a next level where we're representing, representing Mississauga, Ontario, and Canada. And we want to make sure we, that we're working with you guys while we're doing this. Um, we also mentor five teams. And with these five teams, they are in Peel board, so we're helping teams in Caledon, Brampton, and Mississauga. Um, and the thing that kind of separates us from just learning about this in school is you can learn about a school as much as you want. When you bring that theory into practical applications, that's when students actually learn. Writing notes in a book with you know just paper and pen is only going to take you so far, but when they can actually apply your knowledge of grasping and controlling a sphere, game pieces, that's when you're going to take it to the next level when they're going to be the innovative leaders of tomorrow. Um, our school actually had a robotics day where the city councilor, Ron Starr, came and we um, showcased our program, we showcased our robots, showcased our achievements and community outreach. And we want to bring that.
that were wanting to date from within our school in, outside into the community. Um, one day where Mississauga is recognizing robotic science and technology. Um, we also headed to the Ontario Science Centre where we showcase robotics at a hobby date. And we want to make sure that we have more events like that maybe held in our community centres, held in other venues to make sure that we're reaching as many people as possible. We actually also were in Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We were running activities. We helped the Starlight Children's Foundation um, with a family over Christmas. Um, you know, we were featured in Omni News national program and stuff like this is what's going to take us to the next level where we can, you know, bring this saga to a stage where it's very respected and um, that's what we hope that we get support from our city councillors and our mayor and just to bring the city together to make sure that we're going to that next level. So as we all walk away this morning at the end of this meeting, we would like to ask all of you and to be partners with us and to see how each of you can add into enriching lives of the future leaders of tomorrow. Thank you very much. It's so enthusiastic, I'll tell you. You go to that school and you come away inspired. To go to that big uh, event you held and uh, it was whole, you hosted it at the uh, Hershey Center. It's just amazing. People from all over Canada filled the Hershey Center. So congratulations. You truly are a leader. We, your vision is something that could become a reality with a lot of support from all the other schools in Mississauga. We could get the program introduced in all the schools. I hope that you will involve the Mississauga campus of the University of Toronto. The new president wants to set up an engineering school. As you know, we have a medical school, and he is, uh, these are the future engineers. And uh, uh, it's so important, so I would highly recommend that you get in touch with uh, the University of Mississauga campus. I'm sure they would be only too happy to work with you folks in regard to the wonderful work you're doing. So, what an exciting day for Mississauga. And they're, and they're, so, they're so enthused about what they do. You know, you go to the school, as Councillor Starr knows, about this project, and you just get inspired to think of the wonderful work that these students are doing. And as I say, complimentary, I want to compliment the staff at Hanson Secondary School. Is the principal with us this morning? Ah, uh, not this morning. Pardon? Not, not this morning. Not this morning, but I will send them a letter congratulating. It's just wonderful. So go for it. Perfect. You'll be our future engineers. And, you know, a country, uh, the future of Canada is our competitors. And uh, it'll be the engineers, not the lawyers, that will make us... Uh, <laughs> Successful, I can assure you. But as Councillor Unique has so well said, Japan led the world because of, their, of the number of engineers that graduated from their university, their, tech, their advancement in technology. When I visited Japan a number of years ago, I visited the, the Toyota plant in our sister city, and the cars were made with robots. That's years ago, not recently. They're way ahead of us in that regard. You folks are going to put us on the map. You've already put us on the map internationally. So just keep up the wonderful work. We're oh, so proud. Hopefully we can catch up to Japan and put us on top, right? You're good. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. If we could request to have a picture taken, that would be fantastic. Oh, a picture? Yes. yes. Thank well, you so much. I'd be honored.